My name is Wolfgang Hall and with me here is Maxime. Maxime, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is uh, Maxime Chamboy. I'm an architect at uh, Open Source Integrators. Great, and thank you for, for joining us on this great DDMRP presentation. If you have missed it, there's an introductory video on DDMRP. That's a general one. This is uh, the first one of the four detailed ones. And uh, this one is about planning. It's all about integration of planning tools in Odoo the open source enterprise resource planning tool. Maxim, do you want to jump in and show us how planning in Odoo works? Sure, so today I'm going to uh, show you how the uh, sales and operation planning is uh, managed within the uh, TDMRP module in, in Odoo. And we're going to cover also how to review the uh, metrics and the uh, configuration parameters of the system. Let me show you how it works. So the idea is during the sales and operation planning meeting, there is two phases. First is to review the history of the buffer during the last weeks or months. And to do that, you need to go to inventory, master data and stock buffer planning. So on each of the buffer, you open one here and at the bottom, you will get the uh, planning chart which will give you the uh, behavior of the uh, net flow position during the last weeks or months and the execution chart which will give you the same graph but for the uh, on hand quantity during the last weeks or months and the idea is to make sure that those two lines blue line stays within the uh, green or yellow zone and uh, basically follows some of those uh, following behavior here. So you can see uh, on the right, so a, a buffer that remains in the, in the yellow zones or, or, the, or in the green, green zone here. And if it's not the case, if the uh, buffer is reaching the red zone, that might be due to some training uh, issues with the uh, with planners, but it may also demonstrate that the buffer needs to be improved. So how can the uh, buffer be improved? So here is we have all the factors of the uh, buffer size. And the first one is the, um, the buffer profile. So the buffer profiles is basically determine, well, first, if the buffer is dynamic is static or it's if it's uh, just a min max uh, rules so that that's something you shouldn't touch then we have the uh, buffer profile type so based on whether you manufacture purchase or distribute the item and the last two uh, settings here are the most important one that you may want to uh, change during the uh, snop meeting so the lead time factor, maybe based on history, the item, the buffer should be moved to short, medium or long and, and vice versa. And same for the variability factor. So maybe the purchase lead time is very variable and, and so you should change the uh, variability factor to, uh, to high. So the uh, Odoo module provide all the uh, different buffer profile so you just need to change here in the list which profiles to set on each buffer things you can do also as you can see here short is set to a 0 0.75 uh, medium 0 0.5 and low 0 0.25 something you can do and affects all the buffer profile and buffers is change those values and maybe short should be a 1.0.8 and, and low could be 0 0.2. So that, that's the uh, buffer profile. The second one is the minimum order cycle. Maybe you want to order more often or less often. So you can change the date here. You can change also the minimum order quantity. And also one last uh, option here is the, uh, the way you calculate the average daily usage. So it could be a fixed value that will remain static over time or could be based on the past history, based on the real demand and order, or it can be based on future and that's where you could
could use demand estimate that uh, we'll see later how to uh, to enter into the system. So that that's the uh, settings you c you could change on a buffer uh, during the SNOP, just to make sure that on the next period the buffer will will remain in the uh, yellow or green zone. Regarding the demand planning, so as I said, if you're using an average daily usage that's based on the future demand, you can create your demand estimate here. Your, your forecast can be entered here. So based on a period, you for each product, you can enter how many uh, items you plan to, uh, to sell or the demand will be. And if you also know that the average daily usage follow uh, seasonality, you'll get an exceptional order in the next coming weeks or months. You can create a buffer adjustment. So it's, it's really when the uh, buffer will, will need to adapt and, and flex ten, 10 times than the usual. I mean, it, in a big order of magnitude, because otherwise the buffer is, is pretty robust and it can absorb a lot of uh, variability, but if it's that big of a variability, then you should come here and create a buffer adjustment, which will factor the uh, demand adjustment or the uh, lead time. And same idea as the uh, demand estimate, you, you choose your buffer, you enter the period and the values, and the zones will be recalculated. So the ADU will be recalculated based on this factor. And the ADU is, uh, is one of the settings that is used to calculate all of the uh, buffer zone. So all the uh, buffer zones will, uh, will change based on this buffer adjustment. And that's pretty much it for the uh, sales and operation planning meetings. So just to summarize, review the uh, charts. Uh, look at the history, whether the uh, net flow position or on-hand level went into the uh, red zone and make the adjustments into the uh, buffer settings. Well, thanks, Max, for a great video on planning and DDMRP uh, using Odoo. Uh, I hope that really showed our audience how they can do the first step. There are actually three more steps that we're going to show on additional videos that you can look up on our website. If you just search for DDMRP, you'll find the whole series of five videos and you can find that at opensourceintegrators.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Wolfgang.